friends, welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here for another recap of Seeking Sister Wife, okay? I'm a day late. Yes, I am. It should have been up yesterday, but y'all know I got a job out here. I have to pay these bills. I like to eat, okay? I like my lights, okay? So, I'm a day late, but I'm here, y'all. Y'all, we ain't got too much to talk about. I ain't gonna keep y'all. Let's talk about Tasha and Sidian and Ariel. As we know, we know Sidian is in the Philippines with Ariel. Honey, they having a good old time. They are enjoying each other's company, honey. So Tasha, she's feeling a little lonely back home because see, her man is over there blowing out somebody else's back. So she calls and they answer the phone and she was like, ah! Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think she was a real happy child. I guess. So Tasha was like, oh, hi, friend. Hi, girlfriend. Hi. So Tasha's like, how's everything going? Everything going okay? You good? You good? <laughs> Ariel, she's like, oh, I'm real good. <laughs> oh, I'm real good. Your man good too. See, we taking care of each other while you over there lonely. And then what about when Ariel told Tasha, it's okay to be lonely. <laughs> no. Okay. Even if I was lonely, they wouldn't know it. They wouldn't know it. They would have a FaceTime with me going all over the place. I would have been to Trader Joe's. I would have went out to the movies. I would have went out to eat. I would have went somewhere. They'd be like, where you at, honey? I'm living it up. I ain't lonely. But Tasha says that it's good to see them and hear their voices. And then, you know, here comes Sidian. How are you? You okay? I'm okay. I'm good. So then Tasha had a question. Have you all been intimate? Tasha, why are you asking that? You already done gave your approval and condoms. Honey, he probably don't went through those condoms and got another box. What are you talking about? Didn't you see that smile on Ariel's face? Of course they've been intimate several, 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 several times. So Tasha is like, I just want to know, you know, if you've been intimate and how did it go? And so here is Sidney. He was like, oh, so you want all the juicy details? And she was like, no, no, no. I just want to, you know, make sure that everybody's comfortable. And then Tasha says that she had wished to have spoken to Ariel and told her, hey, I'm good with it. Okay, I just want to make sure you are comfortable throwing your legs up in the air and waving them like you just don't care to my man. See, I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same level. So here is Ariel. Ariel's like, no, I'm good. Ariel's like, that's kind of weird. You know that she's asking about me and, you know, Sidian's intimacy, but... You know, I'm down with some things, but I will say it's kind of weird. It is weird. <sighs> so, of course, they finish up the conversation. And Sidian and Ariel, they continue on their romantic way. While Tasha goes and meet up with her mom. Let me tell y'all something. Tasha's mama, hey, 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 mama Tasha. Hey, Mama Tasha, everything you said was correct. I'm with Mama Tasha. Mama Tasha said that's a cult. She said my daughter out here is a whole cult. So, Tasha is telling the mom that Sidian is with Ariel in Philippines. She said, oh, what? She's where? She was like, here we go. You mean to tell me that man over there with another woman and you here lonely? Crying in your pillow? But Tasha said it's not like that. You know, she, you know, may be a future sister wife. And so the mama said, oh, why? Did you know her? 
And so Tasha said, I met her years ago. We are friends. And at the time, I did not think she would be a sister wife. But now she may possibly be. And that mama said, no. My, that, that mama said, it's a cult. And this man is controlling these women or women's. That's what the mama said. That's what Mama Tasha said. I didn't say that. That's what Mama Tasha said. Mama Tasha said, my daughter is going to wake up one day solo dolo. She said, I just don't want my daughter regretting these decisions later on. I mean, your, your man over there in the Philippines blowing out somebody's back while we sitting here. He ain't nowhere around. How do you know that he, he ain't going to go over there and stay with Ariel? Honey, that mama ain't here for it. Ain't here for it, child. Let's move on. Real quick, fast, and in a hurry. I don't even know why they even showed Nick. Nick, Jennifer, and April. They was on my screen for three minutes. And the only thing I got out of that conversation is they approve of Danielle. They want Danielle in with their family. That's all I got out of it. Did y'all get anything else? Okay, well, let's move on. I ain't keeping y'all. Now, right, let's talk about Marcus, Tarrant, India, and I guess Ned Janae. So, here is Marcus telling the ladies about how it went. And he said it didn't go too well, child. <laughs> it didn't go well with his meet up with Janae because, you know, when he told Janae, Janae was like, uh-uh. A polygamous no I ain't having it okay not today not tomorrow not ever I, uh, uh, no get up at my face so he says listen okay I really felt a connection with Janae and I'm gonna give her some space and you know I'm gonna you know she she went about her business but what I want to do is buy her another plane ticket bring her back so we can have a conversation and then maybe she can meet you all and we'll see what happens. Well, because you're buying a whole lot of plane tickets. Why would you buy me a plane ticket to Miami so I could go to a Miami Dolphins game? <laughs> That's what you did. So, of course, Janae was apprehensive about this whole polygamous life. Okay. So, Terrence says that it really wasn't a big shock to her that Marcus wanted a polygamous lifestyle because she had known Marcus, you know, for a while. So, when he dropped a bomb on her, she was just like, I mean it to win it. I mean, let's do this. <laughs> Honey, Taryn is a soldier, ain't she? I'm a soldier. In the eyes of blood, I'm a soldier. In the army, I'm a soldier. <laughs> so it's time to meet up with Janae again. And Janae is there for business. I will say, Marcus and Janae together, they're a cute couple because they're both attractive people. So they go into the restaurant and, you know, Marcus is trying to sell her why she should be in this type of relationship. Marcus says that he, you know, they have a connection. Him and Janae have a connection and he really, really likes, you know, Janae. But he said, listen, I, I can't convince you. How about if you meet up with my other wives, okay, and maybe they can you know, talk to you in a way and try to convince you in a way that I cannot. So she was like, I don't know about all this. I mean, this, this is just weird. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I mean, I might do it, but I don't know. I'm apprehensive. This is... Mm. So then here come Marcus. Talking about, you got sisters. So she was like, yeah, I got sisters. She, and Marcus was like, see, that's the same thing. Marcus, Marcus, come in. Marcus, bring your bald head itself up and come in. Marcus, 
fuck is bring your five foot eight self up? Come here. Let me thump you in your forehead. It is not the same thing. And she said that. She said, it's not the same thing. You cannot equate my blood sisters to two other or three other women. Absolutely not. Me and my sisters don't share a man. Okay? We don't share a man. Okay? That's the difference, Marcus. So Marcus is still trying to plead his case. And I was like, where the food at? Now y'all in the restaurant, where the food? So the food finally came. I think she had some uh, crab cakes. Marcus, now, did you have some chicken tenders? Now, I know your grown self did not order off the kids' menu. Marcus said, what's the special today? And that little boy was like, crab cakes. Okay, she'll have the crab cakes. Janae was like, probably, I'm allergic to crab cakes. He was like, go ahead. You all right. What's, what's on the kids' menu? Marcus don't went and ordered him some chicken tenders and tater tots. <laughs> For five ninety nine. <laughs> y'all, what would y'all do? Talking to my ladies. If you went out to eat with a, a man who was interested in you, not even a boy, let's say the first date, and he ordered chicken tenders. What would you do? Would you be like, well, that's no big deal? Or would you be like me and be like, I know this grown man ain't on no chicken tenders. You bet chicken tenders. You better order half of a chicken. <laughs> you ain't eight. Y'all, I'm just joking. He didn't order no chicken tenders. I think he ordered the tacos, child. Food look good. So then, here they are talking. He's still pleading his case, and then he brings up Bina. He brings up Bina. And then here is Janae. Janae was like, Lord, I'm going to need me another drink. Marcus is, is really, 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 really trying to get Janae in with the crowd, honey. Janae said, I'll think about it. Okay, I'm not saying yes. But I'm thinking about it because she is interested in meeting the other two wives. She is interested in, in meeting Taryn and India. Girl, it's going to be all right. Taryn and Andy, India seem cool beans, okay? Now, if you don't want to be involved in this polygamous relationship, child, girl, you better tell them real quick, fast, and in a hurry, child. This ain't for you. I don't think this is for Janae. I don't think Janae is going to be part of... Um, this family. I may be wrong, but Janae don't look like she is willing to give this a um, give this a shot. All right, y'all. Let's move on. Last and certainly least, y'all. What's wrong with Garrick? Y'all, what's wrong with that man? I mean, not only does he have a, a you know sister wife and you know wife. I mean, she ain't his wife. Danielle ain't his wife. Y'all remember she divorced that man. So Bert can get a visa. But she dragging her feet up. So Danielle, she's meeting up with her brother. And she is saying that she's apprehensive about this trip to Brazil. Because Bert is dragging her feet. Every excuse under the sun. She don't want to leave her mom. Okay. Then why did you go through the process? See, everything's there waiting. It's waiting. We're waiting. Y'all remember that meme? <laughs> so, of course, the brother. The brother's like, she probably didn't want to come over here. I don't know why we over here talking about it. She don't want to come over here. She don't want to come over here. She probably would rather have Garrick go over there, leave you here. He didn't say that I did, but that's what I was. I, that's what he wanted to say. Danielle sitting over there looking like, who done it, what for? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I mean, I hope that she's not having cold feet. I hope that she's willing to come over here. Then, of course, they bringing up babies. Because we know Garrick, 
He wants to have a whole bunch of babies with someone who haven't even decided to come over here yet. He just worried about kids. Even though he got two sons that need you. So here is Danielle talking to Gary. I will say this. They got a nice house. I love that kitchen. I love that little, um, the living room area. Ooh, that's real nice. Gary, did you build that with your construction business? I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. So, they sitting there talking. And so basically, Danielle said, listen, we have been waiting on Bert. She hadn't been... Um, answered our phone calls or texts until here recently. We have went through the process, spent all our money, and here she is, dragging her feet. We still don't know if she wants to come over here, but we gotta go over there to Brazil to try to talk some sense into her. So here is Garrett. Why are you looking like that? Garrett just looked like a whole fool to me. Garrett is like this. How is it that she don't, you know, just hit him in the... Girl, just karate chop him in his throat. That's what you do, Danielle. Just foolish. So Danielle said, you know, you, you we, 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 we here waiting on her to get the visa and to come over here. We done built this house for her. She's supposed to be our family. She's supposed to be here. And so Garrick is like, well, what's the prop? She'll be here. We gonna, she, Don't worry about it. She'll be here. She's like, what about the kids? Now, you want babies with the woman who's already hesitant about coming over here. So you mean to tell me that you're going to go over to Brazil, blow her back out, impregnate her, and then we're going to come back over here? She's going to be over there. Let's say she gets pregnant. She's going to be over there carrying your child, having your child, and you over here. Here's Garrett. <laughs> like, Danielle is, is not making any sense. Danielle was making perfect sense. How you going to be some type of father to children in another country, and then you're over here. You're going to be a long-distance dad, and that's a long-distance dad. Meanwhile, you got two sons here. So you going to go back and forth? He a hot mess, y'all. He going to talk about, well, I guess we'll work it out. Jesus can work it out if you let Jesus can work it out. Work it out, Jesus can work it out. That's not what the song means. Just walking around sideways, knowing the inside of your jaw. Y'all, Garrick gets on my nerves. The things that come out of his mouth and the things that he think is logical is insane to me. So, Danielle, that's the thighs that he said that. He said it. Then she got teared up. Her face turned red, the tip of her nose turned red. I said, Lord, here she go. She gonna start crying instead of karate chopping his throat. You sound foolish. Danielle said that she did. Talking about it'll work out trying to have babies with someone who, who don't even know if they want to come over here. He just want to blow her back out. That's all it is. That's all it is. But he wants to blow the back out. So here comes Bert on the FaceTime. And y'all, they pulled out that translator app. Y'all, I almost threw my TV out that window. Y'all know how I feel about that darn translator app. You can't hear. Here he is fiddling and following with it. Talking about, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're talking too fast, hold on. Okay, now. Child, I would have threw that phone out the window. Here's Danielle, she's sitting over there, face raised like she's about to cry. And here is the conversation, the conversation is about that mother. That's what the conversation was, was about Bert 
Kurt's mom. Instead of them saying, we're going to come over there, okay, we're on our way. And when we get over there, we're going to have a long conversation about whether you are willing to come over here. We don't have that much. We don't have time. We just spent money on an immigration lawyer. Your visa's ready. The paperwork's ready. You coming over here. See, that's all you need to say. I see, according to their immigration lawyer, if she don't pick up that visa in time, that is allotted for her. They're going to have to wait five years. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, Bert, you getting on that plane. You getting on that plane. Okay? Your mama just going to have to be all right. But you getting on that plane. Just, just fool it. These are grown adults that have children. Danielle says, so what are you going to do? You're going to wait five years to have children with Bert? We got to go through the process again? Then Garrett kept talking about, well, it's the first time, you know, we want to be a family. Oof. It will be a cold day. Y'all, they're on their way to Brazil, child. They are on their way to Brazil to see if Bert is ready to become a family in the United States. Now, y'all know the minute, the minute Garrick see Bert, he's going to be like, hey, Danielle, go on, to the, go on somewhere now. Go on to the local market. Honey, <laughs> Garrick going to turn that ass up. <laughs> They yell gonna be somewhere crying. How much you want to bet? By the time they leave Brazil, Danielle is gonna be crying at least three times. That's a job. Y'all know what to do. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends. Bye.